sorry Raj isn't here, as you can see, I'm not Raj. I'm his brother from another mother. <laughs> but this is Raj's mother here, Tala. Um, so, with no further ado, the 2015 Best Stage Production Award goes to Bend It Like Beckham, the musical. <laughs> Hi, good evening, everybody. I'm Paul Mayetta Burgess. I'm Grinda Chata's partner uh, from Bend Like Beckham. And I just wanted to send a few words and, and thanks from Grinda. We're um, shooting a new movie in India right now about partition and transfer of power, uh, 1947, for next year. So she can't be here tonight, but she wanted to thank the organizers and, and everybody in this room um, because I think often, you know, there's, there's such a debate about diversity and there's a long way to go, but we don't often enough celebrate the great work we're all doing, and, and everybody in this room should be congratulated on that. Um, and also to invite everybody to come to the West End and come and see the musical, because we have got a fantastic cast of um, 31 actors who are working really hard. A lot of it's their first big show in the West End, and we're bringing in a whole new audience, too, who never thought the West End was for them. So let's continue to celebrate our work and support each other. Thank it's you. A really, it's really lovely to be here, and like, it was such a strong category. There's a lot of great productions. Um, for this year, so it's wonderful to, I mean, I really did think it was a fantastic category of great productions, and it means a lot for Bend It Like Beckham, because it's a musical, and it's, it's, it's different than the film. It's the spirit of the film, but it's, you know, it's a big musical, um, and we wanted it to be the first big British-Asian musical in the West End, so it's really nice to get this kind of feedback and um, acknowledgement. A musical always essentially showcases um, the culture of, um, Indian arts and uh, costumes. What what do you hope India or um, the uh, kind of uh, South Asia will learn from this UK-based musical? Well, with Bend It Like Beckham, the musical, we've been reaching a whole new audience um, and a lot of people who've never been in the West End. So people who've lived in England their whole lives who thought the West End was never for them. So that's been thrilling, <coughs> is that we've been appealing to young people, you know, couples grandparents, great-grandparents, and that's really exciting when you have, a, when you have a, a production that resonates across generations. And I hope what it does is it makes people proud. I hope it makes people feel like it's a human story they can relate to, and um, it doesn't matter where you're from, you can find something in it to, to, to connect with. Um, I have to ask, why do you think it's taken so long to have a set musical in the West End, especially um, one like this one, like Bendy Like Beckham. I know we've had Bombay Dreams and the one Shilpa Shetty did, but this one seems to be more concrete. Why do you think it's taken so long to have something as concrete as this? Well, the, the West End is a very difficult place because it's the commercial theatre. Um, and so it's very hard because you've got to appeal to a UK audience and an international audience. And I, I think it's, it's, it's a shame there haven't been more British Asian stories that have been, that have been as widely seen as Bend It Like Beckham, but because the film was, was a big success, it obviously helps the stage show. And then the stage show is bringing people who haven't seen the movie yet either, or, or have never seen the film. So I think it's, it's a combination of finding the right story that can connect with the most people. And what's been great for us is to work with this whole new generation of actors who are so talented, who have to be able to sing, dance, act at that West End level. I mean, the bar is really high, and there's some incredible talent out there. So it's been great.